CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 11 Algebra Page 221 Part 1 11.1 .1, Introduction Our study so far has been with numbers and shapes. We have learnt numbers, operations on numbers and properties of numbers. We applied our knowledge of numbers to various problems in our life. The branch of mathematics in which we studied numbers is arithmetic. We have also learnt about figures in two and three dimensions and their properties. The branch of mathematics in which we studied shapes is geometry. Now we begin the study of another branch of mathematics. It is called algebra. The main feature of the new branch which we are going to study is the use of letters. Use of letters will allow us to write rules and formulas in a general way. By using letters, we can talk about any number and not just a particular number. Secondly, letters may stand for unknown quantities. By learning methods of determining unknowns, we develop powerful tools for solving puzzles and many problems from daily life. Thirdly, since letters stand for numbers, operations can be performed on them as on numbers. This leads to the study of algebraic expressions and their properties. You will find algebra interesting and useful. It is very useful in solving problems. Let us begin our study with simple examples. 11.2 Matchstick Patterns Amina and Sarita are making patterns with matchsticks. They decide to make simple patterns of the letters of the English alphabet. Amina takes two matchsticks and forms the letter L as shown in figure 11.1a. Page 222 Then Sarita also picks two sticks forms another letter L and puts it next to the one made by Amina, figure 11.1b. Then Amina adds one more L and this goes on as shown by the dots in figure 11.1c. Their friend Appu comes in. He looks at the pattern. Appu always asks questions. He asks the girls, how many matchsticks will be required to make seven L's? Amina and Sarita are systematic. They go on forming the patterns with one L, two L's, three L's and so on and prepare a table. Table 1. Row 1. Number of L's formed. Row 2. Number of matchsticks required. Let's read the table row-wise. Number of L's formed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Number of matchsticks required, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on. Appu gets the answer to his question from the table 1. 7 L's require 14 matchsticks. While writing the table, Amina realizes that the number of matchsticks required is twice the number of L's formed. Number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 multiplied by number of L's. For convenience, let us write the letter N for the number of L's. If 1 L is made, N is equal to 1. If 2 L's are made, N is equal to 2, and so on. Thus, N can be any natural number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. We then write, number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 multiplied by N. Instead of writing 2 multiplied by N, we write 2N. Note that 2N is same as 2 multiplied by N. Amina tells her friends that her rule gives the number of matchsticks required for forming any number of L's. Thus, for n is equal to 1, 
the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 2. For n equal to 2, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 equal to 4. For n equal to 3, the number of matchsticks required is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 6, etc. These numbers agree with those from Table 1. Page 223 Sarita says, The rule is very powerful. Using the rule, I can say how many matchsticks are required to form even 100 L's. I do not need to draw the pattern or make a table once the rule is known. Do you agree with Sarita? 11.3 The idea of a variable In the above example, we found a rule to give the number of matchsticks required to make a pattern of L's. The rule was, number of matchsticks required is equal to 2n. Here, n is the number of L's in the pattern, and n takes values 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Let us look at table 1 once again. In the table, the value of n goes on changing, that is, increasing. As a result, the number of matchsticks required also goes on changing, that is, increasing. n is an example of a variable. Its value is not fixed. It can take any value, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. We wrote the rule for the number of matchsticks required using the variable n. The word Variable means something that can vary, that is, change. The value of a variable is not fixed. It can take different values. We shall look at another example of matchstick patterns to learn more about variables. 11.4 More matchstick patterns Amina and Sarita have become quite interested in matchstick patterns. They now want to try a pattern of the letter C. To make one C, they use three matchsticks, as shown in figure 11.2a. Table 2 gives the number of matchsticks required to make a pattern of Cs. Number of Cs formed, number of matchsticks required. 1, 3, 2, 6, 3, 9, 4, 12, 5, 15, 6, 18, 7, 21, 8, 24, and so on. Page 224. Can you complete the entries left blank in the table? Sarita comes up with the rule. Number of matchsticks required is equal to 3n. She has used the letter n for the number of c's. N is a variable, taking on values 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Do you agree with Sarita? Remember, 3N is the same as 3 multiplied by N. Next, Amina and Sarita wish to make a pattern of Fs. They make one F using four matchsticks, as shown in figure 11.3a. Can you now write the rule for making patterns of F? Think of other letters of the alphabet and other shapes that can be made from matchsticks. For example, U, V, triangle, square, etc. Choose any five and write the rules for making matchstick patterns with them. 11.5 More examples of variables we have used the letter N to show a variable. Raju asks, why not M? There is nothing special about N. Any letter can be used. One may use any letter as M, L, P, X, Y, Z, etc. to show a variable. Remember, a variable is a number which does not have a fixed value. For example, the number 5 or the number 100 or any other given number is not a variable. They have fixed values. Similarly, the number of angles of a triangle has a fixed value, that is 3. It is not a variable. The number of corners of a quadrilateral, 
4 is fixed. It is also not a variable. But n, in the examples we have looked, is a variable. It takes on various values, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Page 225 Let us now consider variables in a more familiar situation. Students went to buy notebooks from the school bookstore. Price of one notebook is 5 rupees. Munu wants to buy 5 notebooks. Appu wants to buy 7 notebooks. Sara wants to buy 4 notebooks and so on. How much money should a student carry when he or she goes to the bookstore to buy notebooks? This will depend on how many notebooks the student wants to buy. The students work together to prepare a table. Table 3. Number of notebooks required. Total cost in rupees. 1. 5. 2. 10. 3. 15. 4. 20. 5. 25. And so on. Till M. 5M. And so on. The letter M stands for the number of notebooks a student wants to buy. M is a variable, which can take any value, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The total cost of M notebooks is given by the rule. The total cost in rupees is equal to 5 multiplied by number of notebooks required, which is equal to 5M. If Munnu wants to buy 5 notebooks, then taking M equal to 5, we say that Munnu should carry 5 rupees multiplied by 5 or 25 rupees with him to the school bookstore. Let us take one more example. For the Republic Day celebration in the school, children are going to perform mass drill in the presence of the chief guest. They stand 10 in a row. Figure 11.4. How many children can there be in the drill? The number of children will depend on the number of rows. If there is one row, there will be 10 children. If there are two rows, there will be 2 multiplied by 10 or 20 children and so on. If there are R rows, there will be 10 R children in the drill. Here R is a variable which stands for the number of rows and so takes on values 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Page 226 In all the examples seen so far, the variable was multiplied by a number. There can be different situations as well in which numbers are added to or subtracted from the variable as seen below. Sarita says that she has 10 more marbles in her collection than Amina. If Amina has 20 marbles, then Sarita has 30. If Amina has 30 marbles, then Sarita has 40, and so on. We do not know exactly how many marbles Amina has. She may have any number of marbles. But we know that Sarita's marbles is equal to Amina's marbles plus 10. We shall denote Amina's marbles by the letter X. Here, X is a variable, which can take any value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 20, 30, etc. Using X, we write, Sarita's marbles is equal to X plus 10. The expression X plus 10 is read as X plus 10. It means 10 added to x. If x is 20, x plus 10 is 30. If x is 30, x plus 10 is 40, and so on. The expression x plus 10 cannot be simplified further. Do not confuse x plus 10 with 10x. They are different. In 10x, x is multiplied by 10. In x plus 10, 10 is added to x. We may check this for some values of x. For example, if x is equal to 2, 10x is equal to 10 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 20, and x plus 10 is equal to 2 plus 10 equal to 12. 
if x is equal to 10, 10x is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 equal to 100 and x plus 10 is equal to 10 plus 10 equal to 20. Raju and Balu are brothers. Balu is younger than Raju by 3 years. When Raju is 12 years old, Balu is 9 years old. When Raju is 15 years old, Balu is 12 years old. We do not know Raju's age exactly. It may have any value. Let x denote Raju's age in years. x is a variable. If Raju's age in years is x, then Balu's age in years is x minus 3. The expression x minus 3 is read as x minus 3. As you would expect, when x is 12, x minus 3 is 9. And when x is 15, x minus 3 is 12. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by C I E T N C E R T. New Delhi, India.